what is up you guys welcome back to the channel my name is ray and today we are going to be upgrading the wheels and tires on the gx470 now before i go on i like to thank all the guys that's been showing love in the comment section i read every comment and i really appreciate nice comments you guys leave down there so if you guys can and haven't already please smash that like button and subscribe that would help me out a lot but anyways let's get on with the video but before we show you what wheels that i'm going to be running let me give you guys a little overview of my current setup so right now i am running the rwr6 hybrid beadlock wheels with a v1 protection ring and they're wrapped in 285 75 17 wild p at3 i like this setup to be honest with you it's really easy to put on you don't need a body mount shop or anything like that you just need to get the proper alignment and you're able to run this with no problem now i've been holding off on putting bigger tires on the gx i mean don't get me wrong it looks freaking beefy with big tires but the biggest drawback for me is the weight now in this video i am going to be upgrading the tires to a bigger size but we're going to get a new set of wheels that are much lighter that will help offset the added weight from running the bigger tires without further ado let me show you guys what the wheels look like this is the wheel that i'm going to be running so now this is rw's new monoblock forge rr7 s now the s stands for smooth lip so that means i'm gonna be sacrificing that nice rugged beadlock style wheel but i think the trade-off is pretty nice because it is a much lighter wheel all right so the specs i'm gonna be running is 17 by eight and a half negative 25 now that is about half an inch wider or it's gonna have a half an inch wider poke than my current setup i'm currently running 17 by eight and a half negative 12 now that poke is like perfect on 285.7. I don't know if you guys are ready, but here we go. Boom. Now I got these in the matte bronze finish. I mean, matte bronze honestly has my heart. I mean, I wanted to go for the blue one, but I feel like one day I'm gonna regret it and I'm gonna be like, I wish I got bronze. So I just went with my gut and we got the bronze. So what I like about this style the most, it's pretty much similar to the R6, but the R7s actually have a break in the spokes and it goes into a deeper concave right here in the middle but anyways let me show you guys how you guys know if they are real monoblock forge from rw so they do have monoblock forge engraved on one of the spokes right here and that's how you really tell i mean honestly you can tell by just picking it up because according to the website these weigh about 20.9 pounds per wheel now that is crazy if you guys don't know what monoblock forge is these wheels are made using t6 6061 aluminum now this is pretty much what you see in aerospace parts because of its strength and how lightweight you can make it now those two things will definitely make a good wheel especially on a heavy ass rig like the gx470 i mean honestly it didn't feel that heavy until i put on the rooftop tent and i've been too lazy to take it off let me know what you guys think should i have one blue or you think bronze was a good choice it's not over yet rw has to get a step further for these wheels not only are you getting four wheels they also provide these billet caps are right here now these billet caps are super nice oh my goodness it doesn't really have any functionality besides just covering up the center of the wheel but this is a nice touch i mean it just feels expensive so i'm glad they included this with the wheels i mean honestly this is amazing now if you guys are interested in a set they do have a couple sets in stock be sure to check out the link in the description below and pick up a set because honestly they have one of the craziest prices for monoblock forge now for a set of five wheels you can get it for 2500 that is kind of unheard of and you should definitely cop yourself a set of monoblock forge wheels from rw all right so now that i show you the wheels now it's time to show you what tire size i'm going to be running on my next setup so right here i have the Toyo Open Country AT3. Now I'm gonna be running 285, 75, 17. And I picked the C load rating because of the weight. I mean, E rating sounds great. It's nice and stiff. You know, it's great for the trails, I guess, but man, those things are so heavy and super stiff. So your ride quality will definitely go down. But if that's something that you need for your build, I mean, by all means, run this the E low rating. But I would have preferred D rating, but C rating would work for definitely what I do. I mean, 
it's just overland right <laughs> but anyways now this size is only one size up from my current tire as you can see the sidewall is one size up so instead of running a 70 it's going to be i'm going to be running a 70. the reason why i'm okay running a bigger tire size with this wheel setup because let me give you like a rough overview of what my current wheel setup weighs right now so the wheels with the rings i would say they're around 30 32 pounds i don't know around there and then the tires i believe they weigh about 50 to 51 pounds per tire with this wheel setup the toyo open country tires uh weight is about 59 pounds and then the wheels are 21 pounds so in theory i shouldn't really feel any difference with this new tire setup uh, it's sitting a bit taller now that's why i picked a 75 sawwall just so i can get a little bit extra height because i do think the the 285 70s look kind of tiny i mean if we if you look at everyone else running their 35s i mean <laughs> Man, it feels like you just got to go hit the gym and go work on those legs. In order to run this size, I do have to do a body mount chop. Now, with this current tire size, I didn't have to. So we are going to do a body mount chop right after this. And for the guys that are running 35s, I know they do hammer the pinch welds and hammered in the firewall a little bit. But I'm going to see if I can get away with just doing the BMC. All right. Now, for the body mount chop, I am going to be using MVP's body mount chop plate. Now, I'd like to give a shout out to Phil for hooking it up with these. Go ahead and give him a follow on Instagram. Tell him I said hi. And if you guys have a dirt gen Tacoma, Orphan 5th Gen 4Runner, or a GX460 or 70, be sure to hit him up for the tune because, man, I don't regret it. I'm never going back. Let's go ahead and load up some of the stuff and let's go get a body mount shop so we can put on the new wheels and tires. Get back to you. I don't know if that transition worked, but I already went ahead and got the wheels and tires mounted. So let's go ahead and put a thinner cap on to see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. I mean, look at that cap right there. Woo! That looks so good. All right, let's go ahead and load this up and let's take it to our my buddy shop and let's get that BMC so we could put this thing on. Let's go. You guys are wondering if I was able to fit everything? Here's your answer. It barely fit, especially because I have my drawer system, but I'm glad it fits, so let's go. All right, so we made it here at my boy's shop at Garage LA. Now, they definitely don't do off-road stuff, but if you guys need stuff done for your track cars, they definitely got you covered. Definitely just pulled in a favor for me to do the body mount shop. I don't know if he wants to be on camera, but he's definitely looking cute right now. Right, Kevin? <laughs> He might be doing some body mount chops. I don't know. If you guys are in South Amani and if Phil's not too busy, I'm pretty sure Kevin will take it. Just, uh, you know, smack him in the butt a little bit. I think he likes that. So if you guys don't know what a body mount chop is, so pretty much we're going to need to cut this out right here and then we're going to pretty much seal it up with MVP's plate. So we just need to cut it off just a little bit so I can gain more clearance. Because as you can see, it's already been kind of rubbing right here. I mean, my setup only rubbed at full lock in reverse. I don't know why. Or something called Ackerman. He said there's something called Ackerman. I mean, I don't even know how to spell that, so. But yeah, that makes sense, though. <laughs> Whew, this thing is such a beast. Holy crap. 1,000 horsepower GTR R35. Man. I have a question. How many of you guys were into JDM cars back in the days before you guys got into overlanding? Comment down below and let me know. And also let me know what was your favorite JDM car back in the day. My favorite was my Nissan S14. Man, that thing was amazing. But I'm tired of getting pulled over, so we hopped into this. Woo! So he got the first side done. I mean, what do you guys think? Pretty clean, pretty clean. Now, hopefully that's all I really need to run the new wheel and tire setup because don't want to do, I really don't want to do the pinch welds, but if I have to do it, I will do it. Back here, I think it's a hammer, the pinch welds right here flat, but we'll see. We're going to run it first and then see how it goes. And just like that, we are finally done. I mean, oh, look at this. 
came with the free speaker and lighter. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. I don't know if you guys can see it. This bronze looks so good on white. I mean, the lighting is terrible right now, but this thing pokes out. I mean, it's only half an inch more, but it looks way better. But what do you guys think of the bronze on white? Did I make a good choice going bronze than blue? Something about the bronze. Whew. And I don't know if it still rubs, so we'll see. Because I probably need to go do an alignment. Probably need to get a little bit of extra caster, probably around five degrees of caster. That would be preferred. But let's go ahead and check it out. Let's take it outside and get some cool shots of it. All right, my first impressions driving on these wheels, holy crap. It actually feels feels a little bit lighter for some reason, if not the same. So I had to trim the, the flare a little bit and I'll show you guys when we get out the car at the spot. Alrighty, moment of truth. You guys ready? Cause this thing looks, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I think I definitely made the right choice with the bronze. I'm so excited. Without further ado, this is what the new setup looks like. You guys can't really see the bronze in this lighting, but before I switch over to the B row, let me show you guys what I had to trim. So it definitely clears the body mount for sure. And it's like pretty close to the pinch welds. I mean, if it does rub, I'm just gonna hammer it in myself. Not too bad, but the biggest thing was the body mount. Barely clears, I mean, it's a good, maybe like quarter inch maybe. I think my caster's probably around 3.5 degrees of caster. If I go up to five, I'll definitely have way more clearance. That's not really a hard problem to solve. I mean, I can either just hammer the pinch welds or go get alignment. The extra thing I had to trim was uh, this uh, fender liner a little bit right here that goes over the pinch welds. And I had to trim the flare a little bit right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but it clears and it doesn't rub, so. So far, so good. But man, so this is pretty much the setup now. It pokes out pretty much half an inch more than my old setup. And I'm really digging the poke right now. Let me get a little bit closer. Man, this size is perfect. I mean, I'm glad I upgraded the tire size because it definitely made a huge difference. I mean, it's not 35s, but it's good enough. It still looks pretty beefy. So well, let me know what you guys think. It does feel lighter on the steering wheel. It feels a bit lighter for sure than my old setup. Anyways, the lighting is beautiful right now. So I think it's only right to hop into the B-roll sequence. more than happy with this wheel and tire setup especially because i got bronze i've always loved bronze wheels and the way bronze looks on white oh man yeah I, I don't i have no regrets with this wheel and tire setup i mean i'm a little torn because i do like the beadlock style ring especially with rw's v2 billet rings oh my god those things are so good but unfortunately because i wanted to save weight we had to go with this setup and I'm not mad at all. I'm definitely not mad. I'm so happy with the setup because it just looks so much cleaner now. But if you guys are interested in monoblock RWs, there is a couple sets in stock. So don't sleep on it. Be sure to copy because for 2,500 for a set of five monoblock forged wheels, I mean, that is a steal. These wheels are definitely worth it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end it off right here. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and maybe I'll see you in the next video. Peace.